That was the seventh row. Anyone else on the seventh row? Come forward, please. And just, just state your name. Good afternoon. My name is Jennifer Kitsey. I am the manager of New Mexico Thrift and Boutique. We're new. We, uh, we were in business for 22 years in the town of Mesilla as a hair and body shop. And in order to give back to our community, we opened a thrift store by the traffic circle called New Mexico Thrift. It was a huge success. Portions of those proceeds would go to our local veterans. We outgrew our space quickly. In October of last year, we opened our New Mexico Thrift and Boutique, a combination of our boutique from Mesilla and our thrift store that we have outgrown. Now, in the 22 years that we were in Mesilla, we never had any problems, no break-ins, no vandalism, nothing. Since we've opened in the shopping center at 2132 North Main Street, the Fiesta Food Shopping Center right next to Rena Center, on December 25th, our front door was, had rocks thrown through it, big boulders provided by our landlords in the landscaping. They're the river rocks. We fixed it, spent $900, repaired it. The police came, of course, we filed a police report. <laughs> because they didn't get in, which was their goal, it was vandalism. So we, our landlord doesn't care, he's in El Paso, not gonna help us. We made an insurance claim, we paid the $900, got the glass fixed. Then on January 20th, we come to work, and there's a huge hole in our front window. Same thing, river rocks from the landscaping. The owner has since removed the rocks from the landscaping. If the landlord has a problem, well, he could go to their house and get them. We're tired of them providing the ammunition for them to get in our store. Well, then, not only a week later, I came to work, and I was worried because I was a couple minutes late, and the owner was there, and she's in tears because this time they didn't just break the front door, they came in the back door, and they stole a lot of stuff. They got our brand new Apple computer where we were gonna use for online marketing, um, vintage jewelry that we had just been donated. We're looking at 10 grand in damage right now. And the reason I'm here to tell you this story that's so frustrating, first of all, thank you for the $2,500 storefront grant. Um, I don't know if the criteria for eligibility is gonna fit our store, unfortunately. I hope it does, but we haven't been in business where we are since March of 2020, so probably not if that criteria is strict, strictly adhe um, adhered to. But it is our hope that it will because it has been quite traumatic to the point where I trained a new girl and I showed her where the hornet spray was. If somebody comes in here and you feel threatened, spray them in the eyes. And it's like that all over Las Cruces right now. I don't leave my house without something to protect myself. And it's at work, at home, at the grocery store, at the pharmacy. It's getting bad out there and I'm scared. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Anyone else on the seventh row? 